Guys, I'm so excited. This week I'm building a custom Lego set that I have been excited for for absolutely months. This is the custom Imperial Transport from Brick Vault, designed by 8th Brother Brick. I'm going to be building it up in the next couple of weeks. I can't wait to start this. It's honestly a beautiful model from The Mandalorian Season 2. Obviously when Grogu gets swept up by those Dark Troopers, some Stormtrooper reinforcements come down to take out Mando and they arrive in this awesome Imperial Transport. So this is going to be a really, really sick video. We're going to go through the entire building process of a custom set uh, from getting the instructions to putting all the pieces together and then building the actual set. So this is going to be really awesome guys. If you do enjoy this make sure to leave a like on the video and of course smash that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I've finally gotten around to putting some of the pieces together so I'll show you what I've got so far and then we've got a couple packages that have just arrived so I'm going to go through, sort all the pieces for them and start getting that built up. I'm honestly so excited for this. It's probably one of my favorite brick vault models they've ever made so I uh, can't wait to get started on that but I'm going to show you all the pieces that we've got so far just down here so uh, i've got all my storage drawers up here but i do have a couple down here as well uh, just because i'm running out of desk space but yeah the ones at the bottom here uh, these are all the pieces for the imperial transport these are actually 50 percent of them i had to spend another 200 pounds on the pieces for this but yeah you can see loads of light bluish gray loads of dark bluish gray loads of black and other colors but um yeah i don't know where i'm gonna put all those other pieces once i start sorting them because the light bluish gray bins are very full but um we'll have to empty out a few of these and, and find some more space for it but yeah um basically we're gonna go through uh sort all the pieces we have two giant packages that have just come in those being these ones just here you can see i think this one was about 70 pounds and this one was about uh just under 100 pounds so a lot of money spent on this imperial transport but i cannot wait to build this i managed to get it down to two stores which is huge for building custom sets uh, you really don't want to order from as many stores as you can you want to have as minimal amount of stores as you can so i'm going to go through these check all the pieces are there check them all off the bricklink inventory and everything like that so this is probably going to take me a few hours so i'm probably really going to spread this across a few days uh, just because it's a lot of effort to do these uh, things you have to go through and check every single piece off the list uh, then i'm going to probably organize all the pieces and stuff so i'm going to sort of cut back in here and there as i go through this whole process so this is the first order not really sure how but all of these pieces cost me a grand total of 71 pounds not really sure how that's uh or the equivalent of 71 pounds it doesn't feel like 71 pounds worth maybe there's more still in the package i don't know but it doesn't look like there's any more in there either so yeah um i guess these must have been some expensive pieces i guess these two by fours are quite expensive uh some more tiles and stuff that could be quite expensive and then these i guess these are kind of expensive as well these round pieces so uh that's one thing you do have to do is you spend a lot of money on these so these were 60p each on these uh these big pieces right here uh these were 60p as well so uh, you can see i spent about oh my goodness i spent 24 pounds on each of those that's crazy. I didn't realize that. That's a lot of money. I spent £24 on these slopes right here. So we'll just these slopes here, £24. That's a lot. That's like $30. That's like a 501st battle bag. But yeah, that's definitely going to be worth it because it's a really nice part of the, uh, the model. But yeah, you can see the rest of it there is everything we've gotten for this set. And then, of course, we do have this other giant package below that, which should be a load more pieces. But yeah, we're going to start with this one and see how we get on. OK, so we've now packed away that order now. I'm going to go through and sort of organise all those pieces that I kind of just dumped into there. So we have like tiles and stuff all in the same place to make it easier for the build, because uh, that will take a while. We did have a few extra pieces that I wanted to order for other stuff. These zombie heads uh, maybe going to be for like a zombie mo mock I do at some point. Uh, but yeah, then we got the first order torso to replace one that I've robbed for a scout trooper. And then we also got this for the mock as well for Kashyyyk. Uh, but yeah, you can see we've now got 62%. So that means we have a ton more stuff in here. So it's time to crack this open and get this started and sort of start filling this out. And hopefully we'll be hitting 100% once we've got everything out of there. This may just be one of the biggest orders I've ever done. You can see it's about £99 I spent on this literally pretty much exactly because it was about £8 shipping. Uh, you can see we have a few different pieces in here. You have a load of uh, sort of like filler foam. I don't know what you call these. Uh, packing peanuts or whatever they call them. Uh, we have some of these which aren't actually for the model, but I really wanted to try out a few different explosion techniques with these. But yeah, otherwise all the other pieces should be buried in here. But yeah, everything's individually wrapped, which is really, really nice. That's what you want to see. We're going to get all the pieces sort of organized into where they're meant to go. And then we'll finally have all the pieces ready and hopefully be building this on on the live stream very very shortly okay so there's a lot of pieces to sort i'm going to start with uh, all the different colors the here like the dark bluish gray and the black and then i'm going to get ahead and do all the light bluish gray another time because i don't think i've got time to do all of this right now but um yeah that was a, it seemed like a lot more pieces for the 90 pounds rather than the amount we got for 70 pounds just a minute ago but yeah i'm uh, going to go through all of this inventorize it all uh, get it all sorted away into these different drawers probably going to sort those out as well today hopefully if i have time i uh, get these all into their individual drawers and stuff like that uh, and then yeah yeah, we'll probably start building very, very shortly, hopefully. 
and boom that is every single piece sorted we're now 100 percent for this set honestly so many pieces in this set. i really am blown away with how uh, awesome this looks i cannot wait to start building this really really excited for this it should be good uh, it took a while to sort those pieces i can't lie i want to try and find out how many pieces there are i don't know how to see a sort of like total but um yeah honestly super excited for that okay it looks like 228 different pieces i don't know how many is actually total but i'll try and find that out for you guys but i'll definitely mention it in the review or whatever but uh yeah crazy that took so long but i'm glad i've gotten it done now and hopefully i'll be able to build it up uh, over some streams and some sort of like chill time in the next few weeks okay a bit of building time later we're 181 steps in i did about 130 on stream last night did a little bit more tinkering today and we have this very very delicate beauty but it looks amazing Honestly, the techniques in this so far are phenomenal. This is a really nice technique to get the cheese slopes to sit really smoothly. You can see a ton of brackets and uh, different things here. It's very, very sort of delicate right now, but it's becoming more strong as I put more parts together. That should be a good look at what half of the inside is going to look like. Obviously, we'll have the stormtrooper stood here. This is kind of like the back bit here. And then we have like these panels cover up that gap really nicely uh, and a few other bits. I don't know what this is going to be yet or what this is going to attach to or what these pipes or these clips and stuff are going to be. But yeah, you can see it's looking phenomenal. And on the outside, it's looking even better. We have some more details running down the outside there, which I really, really like. I'll definitely do a review very soon when i've built this but um yeah i'll catch back up with you guys once we got some more progress done okay so another live stream and some more building progress later and we have this absolute beauty i know it's been a while since i updated you guys we have it built the entire other side as well as attaching everything together we now have these support structures across the middle looking absolutely fantastic we have another support structure up here we have a boarding ramp at the front with these lovely pipes and stuff like that i think that just looks amazing uh, we also have turrets on the sides which can swivel all the way around 360 60 degrees they can also fall off as well guys uh, then we do in fact have a little area that's sort of like a door back here you can kind of see uh, when i remove this piece you can see all the way through uh, all the way to the back and this kind of slots in like so and looks really really good honestly the techniques in this so far have been uh, second to none with regards to self custom sets that i've ever built uh, it's one of the best sets i've ever built and i love the way it's coming together then of course we have this back section i really think this is looking beautiful i love this technique basically here you have a load of clips and then you have one by two uh, plates or tiles, sorry, sitting in here looking really, really good. I think this is a really good design. And then onto the back section, I have actually forgotten to put the pieces on here. You can see these gray pieces are on here, but they're not on that side. I need to go back in and do that. Uh, we have this really nice section right in the middle and then some more grilled sections at the back. This is kind of delicate and was kind of hard to put together, but overall it came together really nicely. And now we have to work on the whole top section and the whole sort of front section as well. You can see, obviously we have a lot of work to do. So I think we just about head back to the build table i think i'm going to do another live stream today hopefully get some more progress done and then i'll catch back up with you guys in just a minute and boom there is the finished model after a live stream and then a load more progress of building in my own time we now have it finished and i just sort of set up a small scene right here and it just looks absolutely beautiful it's so big it's so huge i really love this model i think it's beautiful i think it was designed so well by eighth brother brick i think there it is next to my uh, latest custom that i've also done with which is the tie fighter from brick vault which again looks beautiful but you can see it's way bigger than that i think it's about double the amount of pieces and it's just honestly so so nice i really love that sleek look at the front of it uh, a couple of little slits on the top otherwise it's perfectly seamless we have these nice cannons on either side that can rotate up and down which look really cool and overall just the shapes and angles this designer managed to get is just remarkable i don't know how they managed to get such good designs on here but you can remove the top section here and you can see you can also remove this sort of control center here as well and then you have a nice look at the actual center of the build you can lower the ramp and then look right in there and now we'll load up a couple of minifigs in there you can see uh, you can fit quite a lot in there i believe eight stormtroopers and then a couple more stud spaces on the actual ramp as well just to get a couple more in there you can also remove this doorway right here as well but yeah we load it up with a couple more stormtroopers this is how it looks when it's all fully filled in you can, and then you can then raise the ramp and then add this piece back on i like so and i think this just looks really good it can be a little bit tricky to get this giant really smooth piece right here into place but once it finds its right place it really does sit in nicely and doesn't really move at all which is really really nice and then of course you can just replace the uh, cockpit piece as well which i'll take a look at in just 
just a second you can actually open this up and and fit a few people in here just as like a pilot or something like that but yeah wow this model is beautiful i absolutely love the two wings on either side with these gray sort of dark bluish gray vents sort of pieces this was done so well with some clips and then some one by two plates sticking in there as well the angles on the top of the build are really nice there's a couple flimsy areas on the back however i think it looks amazing so it definitely makes up for it but otherwise most of this build is really really sturdy a couple of the areas are a little bit flimsy but you've got to be a little bit careful with them but otherwise it's super super sturdy and i genuinely absolutely love the way this looks especially with those engines at the back they look fantastic as well overall i'm just in love with this model i can't wait to use it in a mock i hope you did enjoy watching this video and seeing the progress of building up this awesome set the techniques in here are mind-blowing i've learned so much about this set and how to actually build in lego honestly i thought i knew i've been building mocks for two plus years now and i've still learned a ton of techniques from this awesome build right here and i think you guys would definitely enjoy building it if you want to check it out i'll leave links in the description to brick vault where you can pick this up i'm no way related to them they don't supply me with any of these instructions to review or anything like that but um definitely go check them out because i'm a huge advocate for brick vault and i definitely would recommend that you buy this for yourself or at least try out one brick vault model because they have some incredible incredible sets over there i'll also leave a link to the designer eighth brother brick in the description down below as well if you want to go check him out and also the brick vault review of this set as well if you want to see a further in-depth look at this beautiful beautiful model but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and let me know what you think of this transport in the comment section down below it was so cool seeing this again in kenobi very very recently on the fortress inquisitorius which was really awesome i definitely would love to recreate that mock in the future hint hint that might be something we work on one day but um yeah thanks for watching guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and i'll see you in the next video goodbye